हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्रोटीन और द लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन वी हैड डिस्कस्ड इन अवर लास्ट क्लास अबाउट द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर एंड द फंडामेंटल रोल ऑफ प्रोटीन इन अवर बॉडी वील सी इन दिस लेक्चर अबाउट द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्रोटीन और द लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन अप टू द फोर लेवल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द फोर लेवल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ प्रोटीन सो दिस फोर लेवल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर फर्स्ट द प्राइमरी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए प्रोटीन दैन द सेकेंडरी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए प्रोटीन दैन डर्सरी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए प्रोटीन दैन द क्वेटेनरी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए प्रोटीन सो फर्स्ट वील टॉक अबाउट द प्राइमरी स्ट्रक्चर दैन सेकेंडरी टर्सरी एंड क्वेटेनरी स्ट्रक्चर वन बाय वन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द प्राइमरी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए प्रोटीन सो वॉट इज द प्राइमरी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए प्रोटीन प्राइमरी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए प्रोटीन मीन्स ए लीनियर सिक्वेंस ऑफ एमिनो एसिड लिंक विद द हेल्प ऑफ पेप्टाइड बॉन्ड यू कैन सी लाइक दिस ए एमिनो एसिड लिंक विद द हेल्प ऑफ पेप्टाइड बॉन्ड विद अनदर एमिनो एसिड एंड फॉर्म ए लीनियर चैन लाइक स्ट्रक्चर लाइक दिस so this is the primary structure of a protein primary structure means a polypeptide where the amino acids link with the help of peptide bond and form a straight chain of amino acids that it is known as a primary structure of a protein so this is the amino acid amino acid first and this is the first amino acid this is the last amino acid at the time of protein synthesis this first amino acid come out first from the ribosome this is the last amino acid so you can imagine this is a thread like structure that arrange like this and the first amino acid or the left hand the first is this is known as n terminal this is known as n terminal and the last end or the last amino acid is known as c terminal so this is the c terminal of this protein and this is peptide bond this is the peptide bond so the first terminal or the first amino acid that is known as n terminal amino acid and the last amino acid is known as c terminal amino acid why because the amino group is the first group that present at the first end of amino acid here the carboxyl group c double o minus is present at the last that's why it is known as the c terminal so this is a straight chain of amino acid first n terminal second last c terminal now the sequence for further folding of protein is present or it is this this type of sequence are present in the primary structure of protein like how this protein is folded into its secondary tertiary and quaternary level organization these type of informations are stored into the primary structure of a protein but if we really talk about a cell then the primary structure uh, as such not exist in a cell it further fold in tertiary and quaternary structure and this is not a active form it is the primary structure that synthesize first then it further fold into its further level organization so this is a basic structure or the primary structure of a protein where a linear sequence of amino acid arrange in a straight chain and form a polypeptide straight chain sequence or a thread like structure so the sequence of this protein we can determine with the help of protein sequencing methods so protein sequencing through the protein sequencing method we can determine the sequence of this protein all right now in how the secondary structure is formed means when the primary structure fold on itself and form a secondary structure how it fold like this is the primary structure a thread like structure it fold a helix like structure how helix is formed this is the primary structure a straight chain it fold like a helix like this so this is the alpha helix structure 
that is known as so this is the n terminal this is the c terminal and this is a alpha helix structure this is alpha helix that is a spiral structure so this is a spiral structure that form how it form due to the hydrogen bond due to the hydrogen bond so we can say which type of bond or interactions present in primary structure only peptide bond because here only peptide bond link amino acid and form a straight chain now which type of interactions present in the secondary structure like peptide bonds are exist there other than peptide bond hydrogen bonds are also present in the secondary structure or alpha helix the most common secondary structure that present in cell is the alpha helix alpha helix are most commonly present in its right handed alpha helix conformation how right handed like this right handed alpha helix conformation where the primary structure fold like this means you can understand like a spring a spring fold like this in a right handed alpha helix so most common secondary structure is present in the right handed alpha helix so it present in right handed folding now other than alpha helix there are many other secondary structures are also exist in a cell but still the alpha helix is a most common structure which type of secondary structure other than alpha helix present in a cell that is beta sheet structure what is beta sheet or how beta sheet is formed like this when the primary structure fold like this then it is known as beta sheet structure so this is a beta sheet structure it is also a secondary structure so there are two type of secondary structure alpha helix structure beta sheet structure now how beta sheet is formed in the alpha helix hydrogen bonds are formed in a single peptide chain this is a single peptide chain from n terminal to c terminal this is a single peptide chain now in a beta sheet is also formed due to hydrogen bond but what is the difference the difference is that here the hydrogen bond are formed between two polypeptide chain like this so here two polypeptide chain are arranged like this and hydrogen bond are formed between two polypeptide chain due to the hydrogen bond between two different polypeptide chain this, this beta sheet structure is formed so the there are two type of secondary structure alpha helix due to the hydrogen bond between the same polypeptide chain beta sheet due to the hydrogen bond between two different polypeptide chain other than alpha helix and beta sheet some other secondary structures are also exist like u turn shape structures are also present they are uh, like turn they are known as turn like structure so the most common secondary structure is alpha helix then beta sheet and then turns are also present in the form of secondary structure in a shell clear now this is the primary structure this is the secondary structure now how the tertiary structure or how the secondary structure is fold in up to the tertiary structure level organization and why it form a tertiary structure so when the alpha helix and beta sheet they further fold on itself and form a three dimensional domain like structure then it is known as the tertiary structure of a protein now how tertiary structure is formed like this like this is the alpha helical structure then this is the beta sheet structure then second alpha helix structure this is a complete polypeptide chain you can say this is a single polypeptide chain this is the n terminal and the last amino acid is the c terminal here alpha helix and beta sheet both are arranged closer to each other how how they come closer and why they come closer the answer is that this type of interaction or this type of folding 
this is the three dimensional domain 3d domain this is the most active form of protein this is the most active now how this type of interactions are present means how this this uh, alpha x and beta should come closer due to the many type of interaction so which type of interactions are present in that tertiary structure of protein there are many type of interactions they 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 close they come closer due to the many type of interaction so these interactions are hydrogen bond due to the hydrogen bond due to the hydrophobic interaction due to hydrophobic hydrophobic interaction due to ionic interactions ionic bond due to disulfide bond this is the disulfide bond and peptide bond is also present here due to these type of interactions between alpha helix and beta cell the the alpha helix and beta cell they come closer how like here positive charge here the negative charge you all know very well positive and negative pole attracts each other then positive and negative charges they attract each other then alpha helix and beta cell they come closer due to the ionic interaction hydrophobic interaction is also same like that hydrophobic and hydrophobic group attract each other so in two group having hydrophobic uh, nature they attract each other they come closer due to the disulfide bond they come closer due to the hydrogen bond they come closer so because of these type of interactions alpha helix and beta sheet come closer and they fold and form a three dimensional domain that is the most common type of sorry most active type structure present in a cell now the enzymes and hormone they are made up of a single subunit means these type of enzyme they are made up of single type of subunit or the protein they are made up of single subunit like you can take example of myoglobin myoglobin is a protein present in a cell most commonly with a single subunit that present in its 3d structure that is the most active because cell uh, the proteins they present in a cell in primary and secondary structure they are not active they are not functional for the proper functioning of a protein or an enzyme or a hormone they fold in its tertiary structure why they fold for a proper functioning for its active structure formation they fold into its tertiary structure like this and they come closer and they function properly in a domain that is three dimensional structure like 3d structure like this clear now what is the quaternary structure and what about the quaternary structure quaternary structure means when more than one tertiary structure this is a complete tertiary structure this is you can say this is a single subunit or a single polypeptide when more than one subunit or more than one polypeptide they come closer and they form a dimeric trimeric or tetrameric structure that it is known as quaternary structure how like this is a single subunit this is a tertiary structure alpha helix beta cell and alpha helix what about this this is a tertiary structure this is a single subunit if the same type of secondary same type of a polypeptide chain that come closer then it form a dimeric protein so what about this here the two subunits they come closer or we can say when we kept two or more than two polypeptide chain kept together then due to many interactions they come closer and they form a dimeric structure here many interactions are present like disulfide interaction like positive negative interaction due to hydrophobic hydrophobic interaction due to the hydrogen bond 
these two subunit they come closer and they form a dimer so if the two subunits are there then it is a dimeric structure when same like this third type of polypeptide chain is come closer then it is a trimer here three subunit then it is a trimer when the four subunits same like four subunit they come closer and they form a tetramer same type of interactions are also present here like disulfide interaction like positive negative interaction like hydrogen bond like hydrophobic hydrophobic interactions disulfide interaction positive negative interactions like that so this is a tetrameric tetramer why we can say this is a tetramer because it have four subunit or four different polypeptide so the most of the enzymes and most of the hormone they present in its subunit form means there are many like we can take the example of insulin insulin have two subunit then insulin form a dimer like this is the structure of insulin this is a tetrameric structure means it contain four subunit so the, there are most important example is hemoglobin hemoglobin present in our blood cell or rbc that help in the transport of oxygen that is tetrameric subunit hemoglobin have four subunit there are two alpha subunit and two beta so you can see these two same color structure are the two alpha two alpha subunit and these two beta subunit so four subunit two alpha two beta they link with the help of many type of interactions and they form a tetrameric structure that is known as the quaternary structure so the most active form where the enzymes are present in its single subunit they present or they exist in its tertiary structure where the enzymes and hormone with more than two or more than two subunit they exist in its quaternary structure so here many type of interactions are present in so you can write more than one subunit subunit this is the quaternary structure of protein so what about the primary structure primary structure means when amino acid link with the help of only peptide bond and they form a straight chain n terminal and c terminal then it's primary structure are you getting my point now secondary structure when primary structure fold on itself and form a spring like structure or alpha helix that present in right handed alpha helix it is known as alpha helix then when two subunit uh, like two polypeptide chain they link with the help of hydrogen bond with the help of hydrogen bond interaction they form beta sheet like structure then tertiary structure when secondary structure fold on itself and they come closer and link with the help of many type of interaction and they form a most active three dimensional domain like structure that is the tertiary structure now in quaternary structure where more than one subunit or more than one polypeptide they kept together then they link with the help of many interaction and they come closer and they form the active structure that is known as the quaternary structure of protein and the most important example is the hemoglobin that is the tetrameric structure so this is all about the level of organization of protein up to the four level organization all right